no uh no that's for me after mine Right. These are my German lessons at the front. So I could do the Du bist mein Schwester, which means you are my sister. But okay, my speech is a little hurting there a lot. Oh, did it? Uh... Oh, oh. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So, uh, hello, everybody. Um, where do I start at the beginning? I've been told that at my beginning, Jillian asked for me to be returned. Fortunately, that didn't happen. This would be a very short story. Um, there wasn't much different between me and her and other people and their siblings. I remembered the disagreements and the fights and they were fleeting, but the fun we had playing eight ball in the basement, pool table, or hiking trails in Monk Park every summer um, as children and hugging the vanilla scented pines were the unforgettable moments. Uh, while Jill was far and away, we were never a few days without talking about her next plan her next dessert or food creation of her next gig with someone I'd heard of or someone I'd never heard of, someone I'd never heard of or someone I'd heard of my whole life, like from one of the guys from Queen or her plans to play with one of the guys from Led Zeppelin. Um, she was always head first and excited for a new experience and a new joyful facet of life. Jillian was always wanting to live to experience those joyful moments that made life so unique. She also wanted to share that joy with those that were her family and all of us, everybody who she touched in, in her life were her family. Uh, she will always be the part of, she will always be a part of joy in our lives. When we hear a piece she played or a song she shared, it will be her playing it in our minds. When she shared a drink or a meal or told a story that brought a smile to our faces, she left a part of herself with us, with us that will never leave. She remains with us in every hug she gave, in every word of encouragement she spoke, in every lesson she taught, and in every note she played. Whether playing in a recording that you listen to again or remembering a passing thought, it leaves an indelible note that will never fade in our minds. And uh, this is actually one of my favorite pieces of music. And uh, she played it for a group called Symphoniacs. And it's a little different than the original, but this is my favorite piece from her.
guys, I'm Jill. I am Canadian, but I live in London. You might know me as Fiddle Me Ginger on Insta. So, um, hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye. Okay, that's the later on. All right. Is that back to that is back. All right. Uh oh, okay. We will need to pause for a moment. Uh, one second. Oh, I'm gonna take this away. Oh, there it is. What's that? Mm -hmm. Right. We are in awe of how many wonderful friends that Jillian had made throughout the world. I would like to thank you all for joining us today and her friends who have joined us online to help us remember her. I have two videos that I'd like to share with you. One is a reading that was part of her training to become a wedding celebrant. Please. Hi, and welcome back for this week's installment of Weekly Wedding Words. It's okay if it gets changed. I'm not like married to that. Um, this week's excerpt or reading comes from an Australian author, um, Craig Sylvie, who's been twice nominated for some big literary um, awards down in Australia. I just thought I would read you an excerpt from his book, Jasper Jones, um, as it's quite lovely as well. Here we go. What I'm feeling, I think, is joy. And it's been some time since I felt that blinkered rush of happiness. This might be one of those rare events that lasts, one that'll be remembered and recalled as months and years wind and ravel. One of those sweet, significant moments that leaves a footprint in your mind. A photograph couldn't ever tell its story. It's like something you have to live to understand. One of those freak collisions of fizzing meteors and looming celestial bodies and floating debris and one single beautiful red ball that bursts into your life and through your body like an enormous firework where things shift into focus for a moment and everything makes sense and it becomes one of those things inside you, a pearl among sludge, one of those big exaggerated memories you can invoke at any moment to peel away a little layer of how you felt, like a lick of ice cream. The flavour of grace. I think it's a really beautiful reading, a description of how love can hit you and realizing that you have met the person who you want to be with for the foreseeable future can just hit you like a strike of lightning, a bolt of lightning. Maybe there's Thor. There might end up being a little bit of a um, mythology um, thread through these readings. Um, I do like a bit of Norse mythology. And if it means... Chris Hemsworth comes into the picture, then so be it. Let's get sewing. All right. And I hope you enjoyed today's reading and I will see you for next week's installment of Weekly Wedding Words. All right. Bye. The other was a surprise for us as she told us that when she was in high school, she was not confident 
with her singing, so she didn't sing. A couple of years back, she was asked by a client while at a rehearsal to sing backup on a song they were working on. Jill sent us a copy of the last bit of that song. And this is one of my favorite of her, please. Oh, don't you leave me empty-handed It's not how I planned it We've come too far No one else knows me like you do No one else loves me August the 18th was a difficult day for our family. It was the last time that we were together. That was the day we said our goodbyes to Jillian. Pauline held Jillian's hand and a half a world away, Patrick held mine. My last words to her were, Jillian, my beautiful daughter, our child whisperer, please beat the wind at our backs when we travel. Beat the breeze that comforts our soul. Beat the rain that washes us clean and gives us life. Beat the sun that gives us warmth to grow. You will always be in our memories. I love you so. Mm -hmm.